We're up here on the bow of the new J88. This is a 29 foot sport boat racer cruiser design from J Boats. Looking aft from the bow here, you can see that the whole 48 North crew is out sailing. Right now we're sailing under the big mainsail and the really big masthead spinnaker. It's a nice big asymmetrical sail off of the fixed bowsprit pole forward. It's presently fixed, but it's telescoping so when you're sailing upwind, that carbon pole sucks into the boat. You can see the roller furling jib here. Got a lot of nice, kind of racy adjustments on the boat. So you can see you've got in haulers for your jib sheets. You've got immediate car adjustments for the jib car tracks. And you've got sort of your standard uh, standard sail controls all neatly appointed, out haul, Cunningham, all right in the spots where you want it to be. Now in the stern of the J88, you can see Cala has really nice position and I would say one of the really great design features of the J88 is its well thought out cockpit. We're a little messy with lines at the moment but you can see that the Traveler and main sheet are centrally located and are recessed into those foot pushes so they're pretty easy to get around. You have cockpit seats forward of the Traveler where you might have people sitting on a day sail. The winches all seem to be in the right places. We've trimmed the, trimmed the jib to the primaries and the spinnaker to the cabin tops, but it really, there are any number of configurations could be done, especially for shorthanded sailing. Um, this cockpit seat here opens up to reveal a, a really spacious locker, so you've got plenty of storage. Um, just looking to the back of the boat here, we're cruising along pretty nicely, probably making about eight knots on a sort of a broad reach in 12, 12, 13 knots of true wind. So the boat is definitely powered up. You can, looking up the rig, you can see it's a two spreader rig. And it's a, it's just a small flat top sail, but it still is a small enough flat top that it allows for a, a single fixed backstay. So no running backs to mess with but lots of adjustability in that backstay to get the main shell safe that you're looking for. Um, so with all the adjustability and with all kind of the powered up attributes of the boat, I would say most notable is that it really feels like a boat that's, that's easy and under control. Uh, having sailed a lot on J70s, J80s, and J105s, I would say the helm of the boat is very light, and very responsive, very nimble and easy to drive but uh the way the way of the boat kind of its motion and just the the sense you have sitting in the cockpit and sailing the boat is much more like a bigger boat more like a, a 105 which is a great endorsement because i think the 105 is is really one of the uh one of the designs that's that's user friendliest for the average person going out sailing so we're cruising along here, beautiful day on Shoal Shoal Bay on the J88. We've got the 48 North team still out here sailing on the J88 on Shoal Shoal Bay. It's a beautiful day. We've got about 12 knots of breeze and we're headed upwind now. The rig's nicely powered up, but the boat is really balanced. If I let go of the tiller, you can see we've got just the right amount of weather helm. The boat's not out of control. I'm not wrestling with the tiller at all. Super balanced and I'm, and I'm Hardly, I'm hardly playing anything, but the sail plan looks really nice and the boat just feels great going to weather. We're learning a little bit from Ben who's been racing it about how to make it go. Who wants to have a little bit of heel and uh, kind of wants you to press on the jib a little bit. The old saying, foot to point. But we're having a great time out here. We've got all four of us from the magazine team and we all really like this boat. One more video here going upwind at the helm of the J88. Just wanted to give a little view of the upwind sail plan. So again, you have pretty high aspect, pretty modern looking sails, but the boat is very balanced. All right, we are down below on the new J88, 29 foot boat from J Boats. And we just had a great sail on it. I just wanted to explore the interior a little bit. 
The boat it comes with a two-cylinder, 14 horsepower diesel inboard, um, which is housed right there, and you can see that you should have really good access to it from all sides. Um, looking into the salon space here with the little quarter berths, um, you do you've got uh, your electronics panels there. You've got some nice lighting. You've got some stuff that looks like wood panels on the uh, on the interior there, which is nice. Um, so this is a you know it's a simple and clean layout, but um, but functional. Uh, here we have a sink, and uh, so if you you could do some some weekending and cruising on this thing and be and be pretty happy. Uh, the compression post here is interesting because um, this is technically a deck stepped mast with a compression post. The deck step mast is primarily intended to make trailering and travel more easy, so you could rig the boat um, more quickly and also. Uh, no mass coming through the deck means uh, another point where there's less water ingress. As we move to the forward cockpit here, or uh, forward cabin, V berth, um, you can see that uh, coming back is the telescoping bowsprit pole here. Um, so you do have to deal with that in the interior, but it makes sailing a lot of fun. Peeking around the corner here, you have your head. So for 29 feet, it's pretty simple accommodations. Um, they will sell cushions for that V berth as well, so you could sleep comfortably as many as four as long as you're. You know, comfortable with one another, um, but uh, you know, for for what the boat is intended to do, which is really be pretty pretty racy, um, with the possibility of cruising and, and being easy enough to to day sail as a single person or a couple or a family, uh, having these you know these simple amenities down below actually make it really user friendly. Having a head on a boat of this size is great, and uh, so looking out, you can see that we've got some light coming through the companionway. Uh, there's windows, and so you do have some nice light in the in the cabin here. So on the J88.